Hello, my name is Lauren Bryant. I'm a librarian at Shoreline Community College, and I'm going to talk to you about using CINAHL for nursing research. You're going to go to the library's website, which is library.shoreline.edu, and then you're going to choose databases out of this menu that says research. From this menu to jump directly to CINAHL, we're going to click C, and then the second thing in this list is CINAHL. I want to point out that the EBSCO databases, EBSCO is the vendor or the people who sell us the databases, they look very similar. So make sure that this says CINAHL with full text right here because you can choose databases and show, and I'm going to show you how this one looks almost the exact same, but this word, this one says academic search complete where it says searching. So we're going to make sure we're searching CINAHL. And then for my example, I'm going to do urinary tract infections. Um, the reason I use this as my example is because there are so many different ways of saying urinary tract infections, which is common in the health sciences. I used a keyword search. That's the one we just did. We just did a keyword search. Now I'm going to show you subject headings. So in this detailed record. There will often be um, an area that says major subjects and it will tell you what the major subjects are of this article. I see urinary tract infections as a subject heading. So our results list was 16,977 when I put urinary tract infections. If I click the subject heading, it will give me 6,784, which is good. We actually want less things because we don't want to have to sort through um, articles that are not on our topic. So when we get uh, this number of articles, I want to reduce them down even more because I want to at least glance at the summary for each article. So I know that I want for nursing, we definitely don't want very, very old articles. Uh, I put 2019 to 2023. I also I want to click this box that says full text. If you don't click that, you will get some um, what, what are called abstracts or detailed summaries, which is what you get when you don't get to read the full article. You just get to see what the article is about. And sometimes you do want those. If you find absolutely nothing on your topic, you can look at the detailed record and then you can submit an interlibrary loan through the library and we'll send you a PDF of the article. I want to click academic article, academic journals because I don't want to use magazines for my nursing research. And then I get 358 items, 358 full text items from 2019 to 2023. Now that I have this, I'm going to research urinary tract infections and cranberry juice or cranberry extract or cranberry tablets or whatever it is. So I'm going to add cranberry here. I'm, I'm adding it to that second field below and I wanted to double check it. It unchecked my box for academic journals. So I'm going to recheck that, but I got six total results and these results are going to be very specific to my topic. They're going to be recent and they're going to be easy to uh, sort through because I only have six. Once you see a, um, an article that you think you want to use, you click it and then you might have to click, see how I scroll down and there's no article here? You might have to click this red icon that says PDF full text. You'll click that and it will give you the full text of the article in a kind of a little window here. If you want to save this article, you can't take the URL from your browser bar because it's behind a paywall. You can click this little chain link icon and then it will a little permalink will pop up and this link is what you want to use when you're sending your instructor an article or if you're citing an article or if you're sending um, somebody in your group an article. You want to use this link right here, this permalink. If you want to create a citation this yellow box on the side will generate citations in a lot of different styles. Now for your research, you will want APA 7. If you have any questions, know that the library is there for you. We have a chat that's available 24 seven. 
We also have appointments that you can make at library.shoreline.edu slash appointments. And you can make one-on-one -on -one appointments where we can search for articles with you over Zoom. And of course, come, please come visit us in person. We love hearing from our nurses. Thank you for watching.